Girl, listen, I got some tea for y'all, honey. You ain't gonna believe this. But Kelly Rowland, she's out here in these streets, girl. And she's talking about her next person she get married to. Mind you, she's already dating this man. She said he's perfect. She said divorce is not an option. Yeah. She said, girl, it's so much that she was saying we gonna talk about because some of the stuff was crazy okay and another thing we're going to talk about today is yg and his ex-girlfriend kalia you know the one that got into it with keisha cole not too long ago girl honey yes so she is breaking down she's spilling all the tea on yg okay yeah girl and did you know they had an open relationship and this nigga still cheated on her and did her dirty my god my god so yes we're talking about relationships and these celebrities in them so listen if this is your first time here at gossip girl xoxo baby you are in for a treat over here we gossip we gossip and we gossip and we have a good time doing it i love gossiping you know so listen i upload three times a day on this youtube channel and it'd be some good stuff I just do a little bit, boo. But the gossip gang, they come out with so much, okay? You definitely got to stay looking in the comments. Look, don't take my word for it. Just look in the comments. The proof is in the pudding, okay? I'm always fucking up, so it's okay. But you know, I meant to say the proof is in the damn pudding, right? You knew that, right? Right. So anyway, you know what? We use common sense over here, okay? You get the shit. I don't need to keep breaking it down. But anyway, I just want to let you guys know, you know, make sure you subscribe to this goddamn channel. I ain't mean to cuss. Make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell. I don't want you to miss a thing. And I definitely got to give a big shout out to my Gossip Gang crew. Um, one of them in particular, Christina Strong. Thank you, boo. I see you. Yeah, girl. Um, I'm shouting you out. I just want to let you know, I appreciate the comments, the love, the support that you've always shown us and keep on riding on. Choo -choo. Listen, I'm just, choo -choo. I'm not going to be doing no more choose. Okay. Listen, I'm not about to do all that on camera, all that moving my mouth, exercising. Hell no. Nah. So, Hmm. Okay. Shout out to you. If you want to get a shout out, baby, ain't nothing but chicken wine for me. I love shouting y'all out. Just make sure you be one of the first to comment or always comment on a video and I'm going to shout you out. So let's get to Miss Kelly. Okay. Because that's who I want to get with anyway. Miss Kelly, she got a man, girl. Yeah. And she loves her man. She said this is the perfect match. He's perfect. He's a gentleman. He's this. He's that. Girl, the works, okay? And she said she going to make this marriage last. She said divorce is not an option. Girl, she said, listen, if I need to go in the closet and put on 50 wigs and different outfits, I'm going to do it to keep my man. If I got to do some freaky kinky stuff in the bedroom that I don't feel comfortable with, I'm going to do it for my man. Girl, can I ask you a question? Why are these girls always with the sex, okay? It's like, well, I ain't freaky enough, so I'm going to do this and this is going to keep them. If this man have a thought of cheating, he going to cheat. If he objectifies women... Most likely, he's going to be a cheater for the rest of his life. If he going around and he always, the first thing he looking at is somebody's breasts or their butt, and he put them apart as body parts, oh, yeah. Especially if he got them looking at that porn. Uh-huh, because he's constantly lusting, and he constantly, he cannot control his flesh, you know? He, he letting all that shit out and he fantasizing about every other girl but you. And when he watching all them damn videos, girl, and he keeps saying your motherfucking ass, mm, okay? And then you talking about you open and you going to do this and that. That's fine. But girl, you better get you some practice in because if you're doing some freaky stuff and you ain't up the pot, he's going to compare you to the girls he's seen on the video. Be like, damn, I need to get me a real freak, okay? Because you doing it 
because you want to please me. Now, that ain't enough for them, girl. They want you to do it because you love doing it, okay? You got to be a cold, stone, freak heart, all right, with experience. Don't be doing stuff and you half ass doing it. You ain't putting 100% confident in there, okay? Listen, let him go with the damn freaks, okay? And let them be freaky to each other. Mm-hmm. Because what's going to end up happening, he going to do mediocre sex with you. And then he going to go out and do his freaks. Either he going to do it before he go to work in the morning. Or he'll do it when he's doing, going to the gym. Or he'll do it right when he get off of work. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, girl. So um, if you got one of the men that's just always looking at women and objectifying them, hmm. I'm going to pray for you. So we're going to have to pray for Miss Kelly because she really wants this thing to work. And she said no matter what, so I'm assuming she know in these relationships, cheating is a major deal breaker. So I'm assuming she feels like if he cheats, it's okay. They're going to work it out no matter what. Even, hey, you name it, no matter what, she says she's sticking with this one. So let's get on YG and Kalia. Now, Kalia, she's speaking to the people, and she is laying out the whole relationship, okay? Did you know she said, you know, he, she was okay with the open relationship? Don't you know when that time, that time when YG, he was drunk, and he was making out with his fans? She said, oh, I ain't trip on that. You know, I didn't mind that. You know, but she dislikes his miscommunication he don't he, he's not honest he's always lying and just the little stuff turn into a big stuff and it comes to more complicated and he lie on top of lie and he say i love you i care about you you want to be with you but no nah. so why do you think yg wants to be or men like him wants to be in these relationships but their heart and their mind is not there I feel like it's just because they want you to have a baby. They want you to breed them babies. Or it could be he just wants you as a showpiece for the goddamn people, you know. Maybe it helps his sales because, you know, relationships are in. And maybe he lonely, you know. He just want to know somebody is there. Maybe he wants you to work for his ass. He wants you to cook and clean. And he wants... Just somebody to just to be there and use your ass, okay? Uh-huh. Put make you put all the work in and he have no no ambition of marrying your ass. He just wants you to do the marriage duties. But uh uh keep your distance. So let's play and she's gonna lay it out and um Comment, let us know what you guys think about this. Kalani, for you moving forward, right? You think you would want to be in an open relationship? Because that's something that you discussed. So is that something you feel like that's what you can envision? Well, I mean, to be honest, it kind of, the last one was kind of open. And I think that's what the big deal was about the situation that had happened was because I did give the space for communication and it to be open and it wasn't kind of honored, which kind of made it worse when you're like, hey, I low-key am saying, any, you know, shit can go down um, as long as everything's communicated and everyone's adult because I know how I know how this life is and I'm not really a big tripper on, off of most things in general. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I think it's all possible. I think it's about where you're at with it. I think it's about what matters to you as a person and certain things I really genuinely don't care about and certain things, you know, bother me more than other things. So. I think it's all possible. I think being with the right mature person, and or not even, I won't say mature because it has nothing to do with maturity, but if that's what they want to do and that's where I'm also at with it. Kalani, for you moving forward, right? You think you would want to be in it? Then it's always possible. So you wasn't you mad at the thought. You wasn't mad at the, you was mad at the communication. There was no communication. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of lies and a lot of covering up. And it was that's what I'm saying when it was like deep and it was like intricate. It wasn't like a simple, like I found out the basics of something it was deep and it was intricate and it was like a big weaving of something that turned into something else that just like that's why i never spoke up on the outside the club thing because that wasn't something that mattered to me that wasn't a rule breaking situation i was like mm -hmm. i just don't feel like getting online and deeply explaining that that is not a situation that matters to me then i got to deal with everybody you know coming at my 
mentality about an open relationship. So could you could like, you define could you define what open is? Because I'm old, I need to know what open means. <laughs> what does open mean? I mean, I think it's whatever boundaries you guys set with each other. If you decide to, then it's all fine. So you wasn't mad at the uh, you wasn't mad at the you was mad at the communication. There was no communication. Yeah, it was it was a lot of lies and a lot of covering up, and it was that's what I'm saying when it was like deep and it was like intricate. It wasn't like a simple like I found out the basics of something. It was deep and it was intricate and it was like a big weaving of something that turned into something else that just like that's why I never spoke up on the outside the club thing. Like what matters to you is like. You, if, if it doesn't matter to me that you can date other people, that doesn't matter to me. It's, it's really, it's like each one of those relationships has to be set by each little rule with the two people. Like, it's not like a right. formula for an open right. relationship. It's like, did you, does, does sex matter to me with somebody else? Does dating someone, just seeing someone, hanging out with someone matter to me? Does texting someone matter to me? Does, like, you know, you have to go through each individual step with those things. So I personally can't define an open relationship for anybody else. So for you, though, if I, if I, if, so for you, if I if I fuck somebody else when I'm with you, that an open, is that part of your open relationship checklist? I think yeah, I think it depends on what type of sexual relationship that you're having outside of mine. I'm very 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 uh, big on sexual safety and sexual health. Mm-hmm. I'm and very honesty. big on and honesty. Honesty. I'm very big on communicating it. Like, what matters to you is like. You, if all parties involved giving consent for it and being in the know of what's going on like if there's three parties and you know there's three people being sexually active with each other they need to be on full fully the same page they need to all be fully on the same page health wise just right. all of these things you know what i'm saying so for me it's like honestly everybody being on the same page everybody being 100 percent in the know nobody being left out and and so it was okay for you to see other people as well, though, because sometimes for guys, an open relationship is them doing them, but you not. Yeah, he wasn't super down, but I also wasn't <laughs> interested. Like, <laughs> he was like, I don't like the idea of that, but if it comes up, he was like very, like, he just, I don't know how to explain it. He, you know, he, he was a guy, so I will say that. Right. And he, he was like, this is new for me, and I've never had anybody introduce me to this concept. So if it comes up, but it never came up because I just wasn't interested. I'm so busy with my daughter making an album and with the relationship that I did have, it just wasn't it, all parties involved giving consent. Would he mind you being with other women? Huh? Would he mind you being with other women? Would he mind you being with other women? Um, yeah, because honestly, he wasn't, um, he doesn't have this weird kind of like masculine, awkward look at like, sexual or, or or romantic relationships with women like he wasn't like it's a girl so it don't matter he was like no you will like girls <laughs> and you can really fall in love with girls so like yeah. i don't need you going and fall in love falling in love with a girl yeah a girl could you do, know, girls could do a lot of things that i, I don't want to do better than i can she could do a lot of no i get, I get it well, I, I, I think it's more so the how i think it's more so the emotional i'm emotional. thinking you I'm okay, thinking you saw some please. text messages from YG, and those text messages were a little bit too emotionally connected. Whoever he was reaching out to, whoever you looking to, you're not emotionally connected to your liking. They were just, they were just intricate and strategic and dishonest. I, w- I wouldn't think. Would he mind you being with women? All right, so you guys heard it here. What did you guys think about that? And did you, it's always, they have to refer to the sex, right? Did you hear when such and such, I forgot that man, the light-skinned man on the breakfast club? Because um, she was like, uh, you know, he feared me being with other women because he felt that it's a possibility I could fall in love. So he's like, yeah, because um, women can do a whole bunch of stuff better than me. You know, they can eat better. Why do you have to go to the sexual, you know? I'm sure it's more things they can do better than always sex in the bedroom. But it's like everything nowadays, it's, it's really based on you freaking in the bedroom. They going for the biggest freaks. That's just let y'all know what's going on. Whoever can suck the best, whoever can just keep on going, they all damn sex addicts, okay? Yeah, girl. Mm-hmm. That's what it sounds like. 
you know? Well, she can do this better in the bed. Well, I do this in the bed to keep you. Would I keep you? Would I keep your eyes on me if I do this in the bed? And then when you look at these music videos, freak, 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 listen to the music songs, all of them, boys and girls, it's so sexually explicit. Well, get your freak on, all right? That's all I gotta say. Get your freak on, damn it. All right? <laughs> oh, God. Comment, let us know what you guys think about this. And I just let these, the side girls, the girls that's gonna prey on your man, I just let them know. Shit, it's shit. All I gotta do is show them my skills. I send this ass a video, because that's what they do nowadays. They got only fan pages. So they send your man uh, um, an audition tape, you know, of them doing the do. And his ass gonna get enticed and he gonna think about that all the time. And, you know, it's so goddamn tricky. Because what if Kelly Rowland, man, was like, okay, I want us to do some freaky videos. You down for that? And she going to say some, yeah, I do some freaky videos, daddy, for you. And then, what if y'all break up? He going to put the goddamn shit on air. Remember what um, Tia Marie, what's the name on Love and Hip Hop, that singer? She got video out here of her sucking it up. And... Girl, did you see that video? She seems so desperate on the dick. <laughs> oh! <laughs> they say, who else got a freaky tape out there? They said, Ark Bar, she got a freaky tape, and she's sucking it up. And she talking about some, uh, say you love me. And they said, the nigga ain't never say. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> they say that that man ain't never say he loved her, okay? She sucking it up. So I, said, I do it if you say you love me while she keep on sucking. And he ain't never say that shit, okay? <laughs> Listen, they sucking dick for love, okay? Mm-hmm. They, they getting freaky for love, all right? Trying to win your love over. Mm, that ain't going to do it. I keep them. You know what? Let me shut the fuck up. I'm going to leave out of here, okay? Because we keeping it G. <laughs> I don't want this shit to go left. You feel me? So comment, let us know what you think about this, and I'll see you guys sooner than later. Damn, I can't stand this goddamn here right now, for real. I like it, but I don't like it. But comment, let us know, and I'll see y'all. Bye.